Hey there, welcome to Miss Daisy Patterns. Today I'm going to be making this snuggle bear. He's very cute. Right, so to make this guy, what you're going to need is you need to pop over to my website and download this pattern. Now the pattern is free and I will leave a link for it in the description box below. So you pop over there, print it out and cut it out. Right, and what you're going to end up with is what I have here. So you're going to need some felt, you're going to need some cotton, you're going to need paper scissors, fabric scissors, you're also going to need a pinking shears and a chopstick, tailor chop pencil, black embroidery thread, pins, needle and finally a sewing machine with matching thread to the cotton fabric that you're using. Right, okay. Now, so these are your pieces cut out. Now, first of all, you have the actual bare belly and that is out of the felt. And you're also going to have the bare nose, nose, yeah, the bare nose, right? So it's the nose and what's well, actually the best, the kind of the face where the nose sits in. And then you're also going to have two eyes and a nose, two eyes and the actual nose. So there, that that piece pops into his face section and then there's the two eyes right so now and as you can see here this is the actual bear pattern cut out of the cotton and I will leave a description I will leave a link to every item you need to make this bear in the description box below so for the moment this cotton is facing the it's right side facing you so that's the wrong side right side facing out and that's the section that you need facing you when you're assembling the belly and the face together. Right. And the other thing you will need to do before we start adding in the belly and the face section is on the pattern, there's a, s a small section marked that says leave open for turning. Now, you need to mark that with the tailor chop pencil or whatever pencil you have to hand. Okay, so you mark that first. And that is a guide for when we go to the sewing machine. So we can pop beside the pattern now and now we're going to start the hand sewing section. So we're going to attach the actual belly, the nose and the eyes all to the front piece, all to the front section using a whip stitch. Now I'll leave a link to the whip stitch um, tutorial in the description box below. But for the moment what I'm using is I'm using two strands of black embroidery thread. I'm going through from the back and catching a piece of the actual cotton and a piece of the felt and I'm actually working quite a big stitch because I'm using it almost like a decorative stitch um, I like I like the handmade random look So then you just pop it in the back and do a couple of stitches to secure the end of the thread in place. Now I am using black here because I like the stitches to stand out, but you could use a matching thread to the actual felt you're using if you wanted to. Now the next thing I'm going to do is whip stitch the nose in place and then I'm going to fill in the detail that's just below the nose for the bear's mouth. So again using two strands of black embroidery thread um, and out of the end coming through and whip stitching in place whip stitch applique mm -hmm. And then to fill in the actual um, mouth detail at the end if you just work one long stitch and then popping the stitch to the angle to the left, working the stitch back into the base of the stitch of the that came out of the mouth and then back in again. So you're creating like a small little triangle section at the end. Okay, so I like it to be more defined, so I'm gonna do that twice. the other side of the mouth, 
pull it all the way through and then turn it around just put a couple of back stitches in place to hold secure right and then snip off the thread and then what we need to do is attach that section and the eyes onto the face and again we're using the whip stitch applique um, which is linked a uh, tutorial to it is linked in the description box below so attaching the face And then again, stitch at the back just to secure the end of the stitches in place and moving on to the eyes. And then you just repeat that on the second eye and that is the face finished. Right so now you've that section done what we're going to work on is the ears and from here on we're going to be using the sewing machine. I just pop the patterns out of the way. Okay so the ears as you can see here you've got two sets of ears and you're going to turn them so as that the right sides of the fabric are facing each other Again, right sides of fabric facing each other and just pop you'll be popping a pin to hold both of them in place or you can tack them together it's whichever um, you're most comfortable with okay, so there that's those sorted and we're going to take them to the sewing machine now to sew them I'm using matching brown thread in the bobbin and actually on the thread itself and I'm going to be working a straight stitch that is a half a centimetre seam allowance. Okay, so just popping it down. Right, and at the end, if you again any line of stitching, do a few back stitches um, at the beginning and the end of every line that you do. Okay, and then pop it out. Okay, and if you snip off the thread, take out the pins. Okay, so that's the threads off. Pin out, and then what we're going to do is using the pinking shears. So grab the pinky shears and we're going to just be trimming off that excess fabric. And that's just so when we turn the ear, it'll turn smoothly and there won't be too much fabric inside, creating bulk on the edge. Right, so that's that done. Okay, and finally we're just going to pop the ear right side out. And so once you've this done, you repeat that on the second ear. So you'll have two ears um, exactly the same, pretty much really. Okay, so that's one ear, you're going to have the second ear done. Okay, and then you're going to take those two ears and pin them just like this to the front of the bear's face. And we're going to secure the ears in place first. 
Right, so they're popped onto the head and we're just going as close as possible to the edge of the fabric um, going through the three layers so you'll have the two layers of the ears and the actual layer of the fabric for the bear's head and working around the circle So continue on working around the circle, taking your time because there's quite a few layers of fabric to go through. Okay, so and then finishing with the back stitch. Great, so that's that done. Okay, and all you need to do then is snip off the threads and remove the pins. Right. So that's the ears in place. Great, perfect. Now we just need to attach the two sides of the body together. So here we have the body together, right sides facing each other, pinned in place. You can see here it's right sides together. Okay, pinned in place. And what we're gonna do is we're going to be stitching from the bottom. See, there's the two sections that are marked so we're going to be stitching from here and we're going to finish there okay. and again we're using straight stitch and it's a half centimeter seam allowance okay. starting with a couple of back stitches to begin with just to hold the line of stitching in place and off we go. going to stop right there okay, so you stitch right down to that point do a couple of back stitches that's it and popping out the fabric great now we just need to snip off some of the thread and that's the bear ready to go back to the main table Right now, after removing the pins, what we need to do is we need to snip into each of these sides. Right, that's basically to allow for the fabric to turn smoothly. And then finally, we finish off by using the pinking shears all the way around, apart from on the opening that we have unstitched. So that's that finished we can remove the thread and as you can see here we haven't used the pinking shears on the actual section that is unsewn now to turn it right side out what you need to do is pop the head in first and guide the top of the head towards this towards the actual opening once it's out you can pull it through And using the chopsticks, uh, chopstick as I've done here, you can actually just pop out each of the arms and legs. Okay, so that's the bear turned. Great. Now, finally, all we have to do is stuff them. And again, I have the the entire description of everything you need in the box below. So it'll also say how much craft filler you need as well. Mm 
Alright, so that's the bear completely stuffed. Okay, once you're happy with it, then all you need to do is you need to ladder stitch the opening closed. And I have, again, I have a tutorial for this, a video tutorial. I'll link that in the description box below. But really all you're basically doing is closing off this area. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the thread doubled with a knot at the end because you want to make sure that it's securely closed. You're picking up a tiny piece of fabric, working the first stitch directly opposite, pick up another tiny piece of fabric. Right, and work that all the way to the end. And just underneath the arm, if you do a couple of back stitches, small back stitches over each other to secure the end of the thread. Right, so, so that is basically our snuggle bear completely finished. Hmm. Yay, snuggle bears. <laughs>